Okay, good morning students. I wish you all of you a happy new year 2021 and sorry for late students that uh, I am unable to send you the video message on the time okay due to out of station. Okay students anyway I hope you all are doing well and uh, let's start students uh, after a long time after the summer vacation uh, sorry this is winter vacation not a summer vacation okay so it is a winter vacation after winter vacation that this is the first class that I'm taking you taking your first class okay students now let's see okay the today our lesson is uh, getting closer okay chapter 15 and the page number 114 Okay, so students, so today we are going to study about the getting closer. And what is the getting closer? Uh, getting closer means that the students, the way that we communicate with the people, okay? We communicate with the people with uh, by using the different types of the communication skills, devices, or some uh, technology. So these are the things that we are going to learn. Now let's see what are the things that we are going to learn in this lesson. Okay, so the first thing students that we are going to learn about the, uh, sorry that is communication is the first. Okay, the first things we will learn about the communication and then the letter, then the telephone, newspaper, radio and television, computers, use and misuse of communication devices and the communications of recreation. Okay, students, so these are the things that we are going to learn from today's class. Okay, so I would like to request all of you do not skip the video, watch fully, so that it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, so you may, you can get a clear concept about the getting closer. Okay, student, so now let's start the first things. Okay, student, the first thing is the communication. Okay, what is the communication? Now look this picture. Okay, here the some people have a different types of the thoughts and the ideas. Okay, and what we do? We have we get we uh, we have a different types of the thoughts. We have a different types of the idea in our mind. Okay, so what we do? We share these things with our friends or relative or. Um, some other people okay so what we do we share the information with the other okay and the same way we receive the information from the others okay so we send or we receive the message or information or ideas okay so this all are this the way that we are sharing this is called the communication okay sending or receiving message is called communication okay students so right now uh, I'm teaching you isn't it so I'm teaching you and what you're doing you are learning okay I'm teaching you and you are learning so this is called the communication so we are connected uh, with the uh, internet okay but anyway that is the medium but the, this is called the communication okay students so, uh, in earlier times, people used to send messages through uh, trains, uh, then the pigeons, horses, or special messenger, but it is used to take a lot of time. Okay, now students, what happened in uh, those days, in the old days, you know, we do not had, uh, had that the uh, telephone, we do not had the internet, or we do not had uh, what is called that the, uh, that the television or computer, okay. In that time, what people used to do, they had, uh, they had some special person, okay they had some special person who can carry the message from one place to the another place for that one the people the society used to pay them okay like uh, some um, some person uh, like uh, you might have seen in the serial in the television serial the historical television serial isn't it so what happened no in those days from one kingdom to the another kingdom they send us some uh, ambassador isn't it they send them 
and they are called the messenger okay so they carry the message from this king and they deliver that message to the other king and sometimes also they used to write a letter okay that the letter they used to carry from one kingdom to the another kingdom okay student and in those days people also used the some animals like a horse or the birds like a pigeons okay so they use them for the communication but right now now we use modern means of the communication like a telephone letters television newspaper and internet they help us in sending messages easily and quickly okay student so now what happened now now we have a modern means of communication we have the now modern time we call the communications uh, like this okay uh, we send the messages through the television through the internet or through the whatsapp or social network so whatever these are the things they all are called the communication okay so in the old days people use hearts bird for and the people for the carrying the masses but today we use the technology like a mobile phone we use a telephone we use a social network or internet to share our thoughts and idea okay so this is also called the communication okay students do you understand what is the communication so communication means sharing our thoughts and idea with the others or receive the information ideas and the thoughts from others the this is called the communication okay the old days the people used to communicate with the people they use the horse some special messenger messenger carrier persons okay or like a, a pigeons bird but now we use that for the communication we use the technology like we have a devices okay or internet through that we are communicating with the people okay students now let's move on to the next ones next slide okay the first now the first one is the letter okay letters are uh, are a means of the sending written messages letters are sent through post office they are the cheapest means of communication we can write a postcard in uh, inland letter or send a letter in a envelopes okay nowadays we also have a courier service or speed post to send letter faster we must write the correct address on the letter it is also important to write the pin code that mean postal index number on the letter okay students now look at here uh, what we do nowadays uh, we have a post of you uh, you have already studied about the post office isn't it so uh, in a, when we do not have the, this internet okay so what the people use and they used to send the message they used to write the their message and the letter okay and that letter sometimes it's uh, uh, it was a uh, inland post um, postcard or inland card okay and then later uh, uh, and also that the envelope okay so they write the uh, masses on the paper they keep it into the envelope and they put the sender name and the receiver's name with the proper address okay they send the proper address with the pin code that means area pin code that is called the postal index number right uh, right now we have in a monogram uh, we have a pin code isn't it so uh, that the way the people used to communicate with the people nowadays also it is available okay nowadays that the that the post office also have the speed post or we have a like this uh, service like a courier service and the speed post service okay uh, they are the service that carry our masses uh, very fast okay then the before 
Okay, in a before it used to take us such a long time, but nowadays because we have the speed post service or we have a courier service, they they deliver the, our letter within the two or three days. Okay, I remember when I was in a Darjeeling, so once uh, before the Christmas or uh, maybe in a Durga Puja, I remember, yeah, Durga Puja time, uh, that time I sent a letter to my parents. And do you know when do I receive that letter? When I come for the winter vacation to my home, after when I reach my home, after that only uh, I receive that letter, what I have sent two months, three months before. Okay, so this happens. But nowadays we don't have like that. Okay, so students, so this is the, uh, this is the way people use to communicate with the people. Okay, now here, uh, in a, do you know, earlier telegrams were used to send very short messages quickly across long distance. Okay, in old days, uh, telegrams, okay, telegrams, that is the very small po uh, message, no, that the small post, like a postcard that you, you could write on this and uh, you can send that the messages could uh, reach very quickly in a long distance. Okay, students. So that um, that the way people you know, that these are the also the way to communicate with the people. Okay, students. Now let's move on to the next one. Now the next one is the telephone, or we have a cell phone. Uh, I I I don't know whether how many of you have seen this telephone, dial telephone. No, when the uh, we were a very small that time we used this phone we don't had the smartphone now what you carry okay so the, the telephone is also the way of communication this is also one device or we can say a, uh, a one uh, what is called or machine or we can say the one products which help us to communicate with the people in a such way okay the telephone is one of the faster means of the communication with the telephone we can talk to our friend and relative anywhere across the world yes students so now uh, the telephone is uh, if you have a telephone and telephone line needed you need to uh, take the connection and the telephone is connected with the wire okay it is connected with the wire Okay, so uh, with the help of the telephone, we can communicate with the throughout the world, uh, throughout the world, isn't it? With our relative or our friends. Okay, those days two types of the phones were used, uh, landline and the mobile phones. Mobile phone can be carried with us, they do not have a wire. Okay, now students, uh, we we uh, what is called now we carry the mobile phone isn't it this is the mobile phone this is the mobile phone so this we carry isn't it nowadays it doesn't need any uh, wire okay it's a wireless we can say it's a wireless okay students so uh, 